Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about the regioselectivity of epoxide ring opening. Uh, in my previous videos, I only used very simple epoxides to introduce the, the reactions that epoxides can undergo. In this video, I'm going to talk about epoxides where there's different substitutions at each of the two carbons in the epoxide functional group. Uh, and this leads to, as you might expect, uh, a question of regioselectivity. So in our case, uh, and I'm going, to use, uh, I'm going to use reaction with methoxide and methanol as my prototypical strong base, strong nucleophile reaction. Uh, and I'm going to use the corresponding acidic version so that we're making similar products all the way through. Um, but all of the strong base, strong nucleophile versions are going to behave just like this reaction and have similar regioselectivities. And when I switch over to the acidic version, they're going to, all the acidic versions are going to match to the extent that that is, is a thing. So I can either have the methoxide anion attack at uh, one uh, side of the epoxide. It can have it attack at the other, and that generates two different regioisomeric products. And then it turns out, because the mechanism of this reaction is uh, an SN2 mechanism, Sterics controls regioselectivity. So that means uh, in these types of reactions that our nucleophile is going to preferentially go after the less substituted position over the more substituted position. And it turns out that in general, uh, they were, you're going to have primary reacting faster than secondary reacting faster than tertiary, which is a uh, pattern that should be, you know, which is something that you should expect. So if we have, here's a combination of primary and tertiary, again, using our same nucleophile, so I'm talking about similar kinds of reactions in every case. The major product involves a nucleophilic attack at the less substituted position. So we attack here, and we attack, well, that arrow does not look like, here, let's get that, here, we're going to attack here. This is pretty straightforward. Okay. So, um, in the acidic weak nucleophile case, and I'm actually going to use the, the same epoxide I just did, so compare tertiary with methyl, or tertiary with primary. Now we have methanol in the presence of some acid. We have two different products that we could form. Uh, and generally, this one on the right is probably the major product with the nucleophile at the less substituted position. Um, we use an argument when we talk about oxymercuriations and similar reactions, as to why those reactions follow the Markovnikov rule, that even though the carbocation does not exist, this thing has a lot of carbocation-like, you know, behavior to it. So, in, in fact, the true structure of this protonated epoxide might be something more like, oh, I want to get rid of the full positive charge, there we go, and put on a delta plus at both of these spots. 
So the true structure of this epoxide might actually have this stretched out bond, and so there's some buildup of there's this buildup of partial positive charge at that carbon atom, and so then uh, <clears throat> what we have is electronic factors. <laughs> Something just fell down in my office. I'm sorry for that noise. Electronic factors are influencing the outcome. And what do I what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is that there are some textbook authors that will say for acidic weak nucleophiles, the order is totally based on this pseudo-carbocation-like stability, sec tertiary, secondary, primary. Uh, I generally teach from a textbook, and there are a handful of others this is some textbooks follow this pathway or this guideline. Others, uh, and that includes the one that I use, will actually say something like this, tertiary primary secondary, which is kind of an odd uh, <clears throat> kind of an odd ranking, but electronic factors win for tertiary. Eric factors win for primary and secondary just loses every time. That really the most important take home message about the acidic version though is this acidic version may not be synthetically useful. If some textbooks propose one regiochemical outcome and other textbooks propose others, I actually haven't been able to find in research literature uh, anything that confirms one per, one version or the other, <clears throat> except for a note in an advanced organic or graduate level textbook that the acidic version may not be synthetically useful due to the inability to control the regiochemical outcome. So probably it's going to depend a whole lot on the individual substrates. Um, and so if you want to control the outcome here, uh, you, you may just have to trust to luck. I'll do one more video on, on uh, this reaction talking about uh, the stereoselectivity. This is an SN2 reaction. Uh, and then we'll wrap up the, the video sequence on ethers. Thanks for watching.